When I was younger, I used to dream of traveling all over the world. I wanted to see and do it all, or at least I thought I did. Don't get me wrong, I love the experiences I have had traveling and living abroad. They taught me so much about life and who I am as a person. As I get older though, I feel less of a need to travel to these big places and more of a desire to explore my own backyard. It smells so good. It's like sage, rosemary. Yeah and find what makes every day an adventure. I do have a little bucket list though and places I'd love to visit. I'd love to go to England and Ireland and Scotland. My dad was born in Bournemouth, England and I would love to explore that area. But lately I've been thinking about how in reality we get to write our own adventures. How travel may not be in the cards for a lot of us, but there is always adventure in the everyday. For me, there is so much of the Pacific Northwest I have yet to see right here in my own backyard. And that is where I'm zooming in my focus for the foreseeable future. Lately, I've been traveling east of the Snoqualmie Pass to a town called Ellensburg. I have a few artist friends who live there and we've been connecting more. My friend Erin was driving to Bend, Oregon to pick up her art that has been in a coffee shop there and I asked if I could join. Road trip. <laughs> Given that both of my trips I was supposed to take over the last few weeks have been rescheduled, I needed to get away and clear my head a bit. See, people would never know if we were in the back yeah. countries of Scotland. just got back yesterday from my really quick trip to Ellensburg. Louie, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, he is such a little weirdo. What are you doing? As I was... As I was saying, I just got back from my very quick trip to Ellensburg and, and had such a wonderful time. It really solidified something for me that I've been feeling for a while now. And that is that I have to take time to go live my life and create and write my own adventure. I think too often I am just really black and white when it comes to what adventure means. And I think that I have to go have these really big and grand experiences, but that's not the case at all. I have been thinking a lot about how I can continue to write my own adventure every single day. A lot of that is just tuning in to what I really need in the moment and what I really want. And sometimes my adventure can look a lot like just lying on the couch and resting and, and taking space and time to read a book or need a point and cuddle with Baker and Louie and just be with myself. Sometimes it's getting in my car and driving over the mountains and hanging out with other artist friends who just get me in a different way than a lot of people do.
one of my biggest goals right now is just to really really get back to being intentional with what i want to do every single day and what really lights me up if i'm 100 percent honest i'm feeling pretty anxious right now and like nothing's working my last few markets that i did were so disappointing and i barely sold anything the website update i did i barely sold anything and it's starting to feel like i have to beg for sales which has not been the case in the past i would would do markets and walk away selling over half of my inventory and it's just <sighs> The amount that small business owners, especially artists, have to pivot all the time is, is really, really challenging. And so for me, I've just decided that anything that's not working and flowing, I am just going to take a break from or let it go. I'm so, I'm so tired of feeling like I'm dog paddling and just swimming in circles and running from one thing to the next to the next, then exhausted at the end of the day because it's like I'm just surviving right now. I'm just feeling so frustrated. I feel like I can't catch a freaking break. I feel like I know I am meant for more and I, I know that I, I see other people doing the things that I want to be doing and they're succeeding. And by succeeding, I mean being able to support themselves financially. That's how I'm measuring my success right now because, you know, if I'm measuring it in other ways, I'm for surely succeeding. I've made this work for me for the last few years, but I'm just feeling really, really burnt out. And, you know, part of it is that tomorrow I was supposed to be leaving for Hawaii and because of everything that happened with Louie my cat and just timing wasn't actually honestly the best uh, we were supposed to go September 1st and then with the fires um, we obviously moved to our trip and and then we just took the first time slot that was available and it, it didn't feel right then so I'm I'm happy that our trip is later now but the best few days one of the biggest takeaways for me was that I just I need to spend more time doing things that bring me joy and light me up and get me away from my work too I do love what I do but I can do it seven days a week and I know I've said that before and so it's so important to just get away and go do something other than what you do day in and day out which I am such a creature of habit but there is a part of me deep inside that really craves newness and and this feeling of adventure I really want to fuse that into my everyday and figure out how I can make every day an adventure. I don't mean adventure in this grand big way. I think that it can also just mean choosing to lay on the couch and read a book and, or need a point or snuggle with Baker and Louie or get in my kitchen and just cook all day, which I love doing. Or it could mean getting in my car and driving over to my friends on the other side of the mountains for a couple days. We had such an amazing time and we had so many good conversations about ways that we can infuse more of that into our everyday and just getting out hiking more and doing those little things that make me feel like the most authentic version of myself. We stopped by Smith Rock on our way out the next day and hiked Misery Trail. These few days were the first time I've hiked post chemotherapy and it was a very surreal moment for me. As we were trekking along, I thought a lot about how it was only seven short months ago that I couldn't even imagine getting back into hiking. As I continue on with immunotherapy, it also affects my lung capacity. So although I was huffing and puffing, it felt like I was connecting to a part of myself that had gone missing. It was like I was returning home after a long time away. When I crested the top, it was a pretty emotional moment for me. Wow. One that I will be grateful for for a very long time to come. The beauty that surrounds us in the Pacific Northwest is by far some of the most majestic sceneries I have ever laid eyes on. <laughs> <sighs> 
And it's these moments in time that I remember that despite whatever may be going on in my life, I'm lucky to have had this opportunity to lay my eyes on this. I've been on an Earl Grey kick lately, uh, specifically London Fog kick. So that's what I have right now. It's pretty darn delicious. So yes, I'm. That's what I'm. I'm going through right now. I'm just feeling, <laughs> just so much anxiety. <sighs> Like I should be out, should be out in my shop working because I'm behind on a few things, but I, I just don't want to today. I do, to be fair, need to go install art in another coffee shop. I have to remind myself that all of these little tasks like printing off labels, shipping everything, making the art, <laughs> marketing the art, doing social media, going and installing art in coffee shops and taking it down like I had to do at six o'clock this morning um, from a different coffee shop. All of that stuff is part of what I do for a living. And so I can't expect myself to be in full creation mode all the time. There is planning mode. There is actually just doing the administrative side of what I do for a living. I have to constantly remind myself of that. And I and I don't ever wanna force myself to go out and create when I am not feeling it because then nothing turns out the way that I had intended it to. I can't tap into that place of deep creativity and almost like channel what I need or channel what is trying to come out of me. I have about an hour before I have to leave and go hang my art pieces and then I'm gonna go do a yoga class tonight and probably get some stuff to make dinner and just hang out. I'm really trying to not watch TV right now. I want to get back into reading and I'm been needle pointing trying to also there's no way I can do vlogmas where you vlog every single day I know that about myself and I don't want to put those expectations on myself maybe if I was a full-time youtuber and I was getting paid to do this sure I could absolutely do it or if I had an editor but I do everything on my own I would like to do what I did back in August and try to put out a video every other day or every two days uh, that would be my goal right now and I would love to continue building this community here and I'm always just trying to figure out the direction that I want to to go with this and I got so much amazing feedback from my last video and my biggest my biggest hope is that I just want to connect with people through my videos I just want people to feel like they're not alone I want people to feel like they're just sitting with me having a conversation and we're just we're just chit chatting. I I I don't want to teach something. <laughs> I don't. I'm not. That's not what I ever intended to be. I've had so many people say, "Will you teach woodworking? Would you teach furniture flipping?" And I've tried to go down that path, and that's just not. That's just not what I'm here to do. I'm here to do it for myself and put it out there, but I don't have the desire to teach any of that. I did have some really awesome questions in my comment section and I'm gonna create some videos around the questions um, that I got, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, I just wanted to share that and get it off my chest and just remind you that I'm human and I'm just doing the best I can and I do all of this on my own. I constantly feel like I'm failing at it and I'm still going through cancer treatment. So with that being said, if you have been wanting to purchase a piece of my art, I'm open for commissions. Also expect to see some newer stuff from me as I just continue to lean into where my heart is and creativity is taking. So I hope you are good. I will see you in a couple days when I post again. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. I love reading comments. So if you have something to say, if you have a question, don't forget to leave it and I will either answer in the comments or I will make a video on it. So I will see you next time. Bye.